and welcome to another video. I am constantly trying to find new ways or better ways to track sea life and capture their natural behaviors in safest way possible with my drones. Enter the Apple Vision Pro into the mix. When I first saw the unveiling of the product, the first thing that popped into my head was, how can I use this for drone flights? Now I currently use another set of goggles with the drone already but it leaves me completely closed off to the outside world and requires me to always have a visual observer with me when I fly. That is not always convenient and so I end up not flying some days that are really good weather and water conditions. With the Apple Vision Pro, you can remain completely aware of your surroundings with the pass-through and your view is actually like having a pair of sunglasses on on the sunniest of days so your vision around you is actually improved over flying with just a phone or a tablet connected to your controller. Unfortunately, the wind levels were a little higher than I had hoped for during the first test but you can still see the potential of this configuration. I can see the drone and see the controller screen straight out in front of me or to the side in whatever size I choose. In this takeoff, I can see around me to make sure the area is clear, watch the drone, and activate the controls on the screen of my phone all while having the Vision Pro on. I can also see when people approach me and I can also scan for and spot aircraft in the area to ensure I am flying safe. Another thing I found interesting was this configuration appears to be able to overcome the iPhone screen dimming issue when heating up. If you have ever had your iPhone outside on a hot sunny day for any length of time you have probably noticed that the screen starts to dim as the core temperature of the device heats up in order to try and keep the device from overheating and shutting down. When I was flying this configuration, my iPhone screen did dim some as it heated up but the picture in my Vision Pro stayed bright and clear. The screen recording doesn't do it justice as it is much clearer than you can see in this video. Instead you currently have to use a mirror of your connected iPhone or iPad. Currently there is a DJI Fly app in the compatible apps folder on the Vision Pro and you can do most of the things that the app does on the iPhone or iPad with one key thing missing and that is actually flying the drone. There is currently a developer head strap which is effectively one side of the head strap with a USB-C and speaker on it that currently has limited functionality but could have the potential for connecting the drone directly to the app on the Vision Pro. The reason that you can't operate the drone natively with the app installed on the Vision Pro is because there are no ports on the device to connect it to the DJI RCN1 controller which would be required to make the connection to and control the aircraft. Hopefully that capability will come in the near future. Until then I will continue observing and recording amazing sea creatures like this green sea turtle using this configuration of the Vision Pro or utilizing my other current set of goggles with a visual observer. Either way, I look forward to many more flights being immersed in the glory of the nature around us. Thank you for joining us on another great adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. It really does help out the channel. Until next time, may your connection with nature be as boundless as the open sea.